Hi everyone, welcome to Aster's Place. My accountant has asked me to do him a really lovely arrangement, one for his boardroom and one for the smaller boardroom. And I thought this is a wonderful exercise in showing you how to put tall forms, tropical forms, artificial forms together. I've got this really heavy, heavy weighty container here that I've just given a quick rough wash with a, a nice sandstone finish here. And I've left this little thing here, this little monogrammy thing here because I thought it was quite lovely. Now I've got some sticks, I've got some of this lovely spider plant. I've got some lovely pineapple plants. I've got some beautiful gingers, straight gingers. I absolutely love those. I've got some nice leaves. I've got things that aren't actually tropical, but you can use those in with them. Those, the lisianthus will work quite nicely. And I've got some really lovely hydrangeas. And the great thing about these hydrangeas is when you look into the colouring there, that purple is reflected out from there. So that's why I've selected those. They've also got lime green and they've got a purple, hints of purple in the room, so this is why I've selected these colours. Now I'm going to start off with the sticks. Now the reason I'm using the sticks is because that colour, well they're not similar but they sort of are, and I need to incorporate that colour somewhere else into the container. So I'm going to work back to front, so bear with me if I make a mistake. Okay, the sticks I'm just going to put straight down and into the foam, right into there like so. So and I'm putting those at a different level and a different length and I'll just push that out ever so slowly and I might have to fix it up at the end. Right, I've got this lovely red grass which is also part of this colourway so I'm going to put that into there. Now with this here, the spider plant, I'm just going to put a bit over there, I'm going to bring a piece over to here and the reason I'm using this is because I want to just sort of like break that heavy line there. I've got another piece here so I'll bring that to there and I always like to add stuff to the back so that you, even though it's it's going to just be viewed from one side, it's nice to have these forms at the back which gives that three dimensional effect. Now this little bit here lives with that so I'm just going to push that into there. Now I've also got this really lovely fern so what I'll do is I'll just pull that out and I'll just bring that down and into there. So I'm going from top down and then now that I've got that all sorted out and I've got this lovely structure around here, it's now time to bring in my, my taller forms. Right, that there, remember when you're working with silk flowers, they come in a flat pack from China, so you've got to get a bit of movement into them. And if you're unsure of how they grow, just look up the net and see what things look like, and then that will give you a much better idea of how to be placing them. Right, I want that to go into there, and if I look like I'm hiding from you, I'm still here. Okay, I've got one into there, and I'm going to bring the next one in beside that. I'll push that down just a little bit, and I'll put that into there, but we don't want to be having things, oh, hello, we don't want to be having things on the same plane level, so just that variation of growth, things up and down is the way forward. Right, now I've got these, I'll bring that over there. I've also got these lovely leaves. I, I'm not quite sure what these are called, but they are quite nice leaves, and I love that it's got that sort of reedy colour in there, which also is going to connect in with the grasses I've got here. Now don't forget that they do come, as I said, in a box, and what I usually do is just put them over my leg like that and just give them a little bit of bend out like that so that you've got more of a natural... Um, sort of flow of growth which is how these would normally grow. Right with these what I think I might do with these considering I'm working back to front is I'm going to put one into there like that and then I'll cut that bit off there too. These are good cutters if you're looking for good cutters. I'll put another one into there like that and then with the, these other two what I thought I would do is, as I've said with most of my other designing, what you do on that side, just take that over to that side and then just bend that down. And because I've got one, you know, remember my wee rule of thumb, one on its own is okay, two is interesting, but three is visually more exciting. So two little pairs over there will look quite good together. And you'll also notice as I've done up the top here, I've got the tall one and then it steps down to the next. I'm doing exactly the same with the leaves. So And they've put them from one point so that they look like they are growing out and just that different texture between that lovely fern there and with the leaves gives you that really lovely interplay of form and texture and colour. Right, with the gingers, these normally grow up, so I'm going to place those in a wee group. Once again, I'm going to bring those so that they step down, 
move those leaves out. You might as well use those because they are part of the design or the family of, well, I was going to say part of the same family, but they're not, are they? Okay, so we'll step those down as well, bring that into there, take that even further down, bring, and I might just put a little bit, these torch um, gingers are really lovely, but just by altering the line of how they're being placed into there is going to give a really lovely visual. So, and they don't all grow looking the same way, so if you want to bend some out and bend some in then it doesn't matter now with this one here i'm going to just cut a little bit off that and you'll see how i just checked as i did that so if i'd left that to that length to there it was going to be on the same plane as that so just cut that down ever so slightly and we'll have a lovely grouping of those and i'll bend that that way so i've got this lovely interplay of lovely forms and it looks like steps stepping up into the top of the design now with the I'm just going to give those a little twist out like that. We don't want any stems that are like that because that's not how they would grow. So just sort of gently just twist that out. Right, with these I'm going to bring those up and over into here and push that down. Now because that's quite a dark colour, I don't want too dark up there. I want the dark, those to sort of like be placed in amongst here. So I'll do the same thing again, just give those a wee move around. And this is what's going to make your work look as natural as possible. Now this love, there is a lovely story about how the silk flowers got to be, and it was because the Chinese believe that the flowers, as do I, that they give life to a house and a bit of soul. So I always like to, even if I can't have fresh flowers, I can have the um, artificial to just give that look that I want. Okay, so I've got those all stepping down there. These I'm just going to cut and I'm going to have one over there like that. And because it's a big form, that actually needs, it's going to look, I'll show you what I mean. It's going to look really, really bad by having those up there. Because it's a big form, we're actually graduating down from this fine point here down to the heavier, bigger, fuller flowers down at your base to give you that lovely, lovely, lovely balance at the bottom of your design. Now, this here I'm going to put around the back because I want that to sort of like sweep around so that if anybody is at the back of the design, they can also be seeing the flowers. Now, I've got those happening over that side, so I'm going to do the same over here. And I've got one little piece, so I'm going to bring that down and in to there so that the, what's ha actually happening now is the ice travelling up there and then it's going to stop there and then it's going to drift out so you've got this lovely sense of movement. Now I've got just a few of these green lisianthus and as I said I like to have them all sort of like, I like things grouped together so what I'm going to do with those is I'm just going to put those into there like that as a little clump so that when you look at it we've got this lovely form here that go around to these forms here and then you come up to those torch uh, gingers so how easy is that to have something in a flash standalone beautiful design you can use either fresh or artificial flowers but this is a really good exercise in line transition and balance i hope i've been assist of assistance and i will see you another day bye for now